live session. Today, I wish to present to you briefly on uh, water turbidity, and I'll be able to share the slides with you so that we leave nobody and place behind. So on wetland stability uh, from Digital Earth Africa, we've worked uh, with our partners uh, to make sure we provide the right uh, material. Uh, so first of all, wetlands are quite, uh, uh, we have many of them in Africa and there's been the problem of monitoring uh, the water quality. So when we talk about ability, we have this index which has also been produced by various scientists, which is uh, able to uh, look at how the conditions have been over time. And the good thing with Digital Africa, we provide the imagery over time cloud free and uh, using these wetland ability notebook, we can be able to assess the situation and how it has been. So Digital Africa has been able to provide the notebook and now you're able to see how the situation has been over time of any location. So I'll be able to show you uh, how it works and give you some examples so that you can be able to apply in an area of your choice and possibly share your experience on how we can improve this notebook. And even also if you require more notebooks uh, similar to these, we'll be able to co-develop together with you. So the, this notebook has been made available uh, a month ago and it's able to load the data, you're able to define an area of your choice and you're able to use the water observation from space. This is the WOFs, uh, which is uh, ranges over 30 years showing the water situation over time. And now with this notebook, you can see the condition of the wetland over time. So in this particular case, I am looking at an area of interest uh, in south of uh, Senegal, and this will be the coordinates of the place, and you're able to just zoom into the area and you can run the notebook for the entire area and actually within less than two minutes or even a minute, you'll be able to have your results. So with Digital Africa, I've made it very easy for you to connect, connect to an area of your choice and actually come up with your results uh, in a matter of time. So in this particular area, we've been able to load the area of interest and south of Senegal. It's a quite a big wetland area. And using this, we're able to mask the area using the water observation from space. And then you can be able to see how we can even create an animation, which you can even share via WhatsApp or partners or share even in a scientific paper as, as fast as possible. So in this particular case, we're able to plot the turbidity index over time, as you've seen the bands which are used, and you're able to come up with a quite uh, a fast analysis looking at the situation and the index as it is as shown. So in this particular case, you're also able to generate an animation based on how things look on the ground. And in this particular case, we're able to come up with a quite uh, quite fast solution and I'll be able to take you to the notebook. This is just for your understanding of how the notebook works. So after that, you're able to look at the size of the wetland over time. So this is using the water observation from space and using our index, you can even characterize the water area and you can clip that image of that particular area. So this is the example of that wetland of that uh, south. We can even come up with a vectorization over time and plot the changes over time. And very fast, I'll just be able to show you the final summary and I'll take you to the notebook as, as we all see uh, the situation and also look at possibly some examples that you can explore for our countries. And also today marks the 100L session. Uh, of live sessions that you've had since uh, August 2020. Uh, thanking very much everybody uh, for their participation in making this live session possible. It could not be possible without uh, you and your support. Every day uh, we call upon uh, participants, uh, you are here to connect uh, with us. So very fast, I'll show you the the notebook itself, uh, we have it under the real world examples, the wetland ability, and also we have the GitHub where our colleagues uh, Vicky, who's here and partners have been able to help develop this particular notebook. So this one where we are looking at the normal uh, turbidity index and I've taken you through the workflows of how it's calculated. And you can see how you can load the data and looking at an area of your choice and coming out with some results. And here is an example. 
So this is an example of uh, uh, south of uh, Senegal, as I explained earlier on. And as also I scroll down, you'll see, you can calculate this very fast. Uh, we load the data over time and uh, we come up with cloud-free data, as you can see, at least 90% cloud. Then you also we load the, the water observation from space. Then you're able to plot the turbidity index. So the index means anything close to that value, things might not look good. So anything around the green looks fairly okay for the water bodies that we are currently looking at. And finally, coming up with an animation that you can just share on WhatsApp or even in a report or even in a PowerPoint like this one so that people can visualize change over time. So having a results from over three years showing the situation, and possibly this situation could be affected by rainfall or conditions which change over time. And finally coming up with a water count and you can vectorize some of the results. And also you can export that as well. You can take screenshot of the water body and uh, you can also visualize how the situation has been uh, using the rainfall data. Or oh, similarly, we can look at an example of uh, a uh, similar area uh, like gas, which is quite uh, a phenomenon in uh, in Senegal. It's a fresh water lake and it's a very good source for water. And uh, we can look at the situation over time and the situation can look as you can see and uh, coming up with an animation as well and generating the water count and finally exporting some of your results. And I'll be able to go back to these uh, PowerPoint, which I had some examples of some area. Then now with your intervention, we can try this for an example of your choice. Otherwise, uh, this uh, notebook is available on the GitHub and all of you are champions uh, with the caveat that all, all, all bodies might have a different look, which calls for uh, working closely with everybody for uh, validation. And looking since we are all coming from the whole continent is to see how we can balance our participation. So that was for example of uh, uh, that I have two bodies, Africa, Ngamin, Botswana, the examples on this side. Then on similarly here is uh, Lake Bosomtui of which uh, Wallace insisted it has to be here. So we can see the situation over time. I can also go to another example, uh, looking at Lake Manyara in Tanzania and looking at the situation over time. And also looking at uh, my colleagues from uh, Nigeria, uh, have Lake Oguta in Nigeria and you can see the situation over time. And also looking at another example, uh, same Lake girls in Senegal, look at the situation over time. And this one I did for a big water body uh, in northern of Kenya called Lake Trukana. So the possibilities are many. I'll be able to share with you also these slides. And also going back to the uh, to this presentation and also leaving some uh, time for any intervention or some of you could have tried this uh, at your time and you've seen a different experience. So that's an example of Lake Oguta in Nigeria. So I've shown you the example over time. You can generate for any area and this gives you an opportunity to try. And also the caveat is that some of the areas are affected by clouds. So just calling on ways we can continue to do more testing and validation uh, with your support. It will be very possible uh, to come up with the stability index. And all this is uh, noted with the participation of our partners, working closely with Katoza and our implementing partners. Also, as mentioned by Deborah from Afrigist and Sena, we are working on developing some of the modules that you require. And example of that, we have the module on water resources on flood extent mapping uh, coming up soon. And also module on agriculture and also we'll have a module for urban growth modeling. So stop in my screen and ask if there's any question.
also thanking you for your participation today in today's live session. And I can see a hand up from one of the colleagues. Rodriguez. Yes. Uh, thank you for uh, this presentation. Uh, I am particularly interested on our notebook concerning uh, the water quality. Uh, so here I have two questions. Uh, the first concern about the, the, format, the format of the animation. In which format can we uh, export that uh, animation? And the second one is uh, uh, the, the field data. Can we compare some specific field data on uh, some speci uh, specific date uh, to, to those, uh, I don't know if a raster or vector images, is it possible to, to, to go from few, uh, from few uh, data collected on sites to uh, bring maybe some uh, extrapolation on those uh, on those uh, data coming from uh, water uh, water oh, is what what's water observation uh, yes it's rodriguez okay. i understand the question yeah. uh okay Thank no you. first your presented it in french then in english so i understand so first Merci of all is that mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So first of all, is that uh, the the animation is available in a GIF format. So this GIF format goes into your folder around uh, here. Okay. So it's also good to see that uh, you can be able to rename your work around here. Then from this, you can also make it slower or faster in terms of time frame. Then also from this, uh, we are working on ways that uh, you can verify this information using uh, for data from the CHAPS data from the European uh, uh, Agency, the European Union, where they have uh, the what uh, this rainfall data, and you can see some comparison. And then with these few data that we have, we'll also work on seeing how you can add more field data to confirm uh what we are seeing from this map so thank you so much rodriguez and i remember your area of interest was in uh, cameroon Lompangadam in cameroon, Eastern cameroon. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay so that way we can see how this one can work okay thank you i have so been trying i have been trying to load the the watershed the whole watershed of the 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 long banger of the dam, but still looking yes. how to do it. Yes, uh, it's I possible. Hope with, the, with the help of uh, Edward, we will go through maybe some, some time after. Yes. So this is the uh, good thing with the Digital Africa platform. Uh, we have uh, the sandbox and we have the dish, Digital Earth Africa map, and uh, you can be able to move to an area just to see the situation. And from that, you can even load one of these uh, wood observation from space, like for the area we are looking at for these south of uh, Senegal. So this was a round zoom area. So you can see the situation first, then as you run the notebook, you'll be able to see how it operates. So the wood observation from space is amazing, uh, showing over 30 years of data since 1984 for any water body. And uh, you can move around time to see how the situation has been over time. Uh, also uh, cognizant of your internet connectivity, it fairly works very well. And also you can change the image background to suit an area of your choice, uh, just like you can see from my screen. And what I have, I can even share uh, for you on the chat so that you can be able to see and uh, compare with someone or somewhere else. So if there's no question for us, we can also ask a question from the participants. 
Any other question? I don't know uh, if it's a question or a contribution, uh, Ken. Yes, please. Yeah, if, uh, I, it's uh, about the use of this, uh, this script, because as you know, we have uh, some illegal mining activities where I think it can be useful to assess uh, the quality of water in the pumps. And uh, also we have uh, one service that is, we have one service that we are developing in Senegal about uh, 